Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, we're gonna start working on the sleeves. Um, here in front of me, I've got my sleeve pattern pieces. I've got the pattern piece that tells me how long to make the sleeve cuff. I've got my entrepreneur beading, and I've got my half inch edging lace. But I'm gonna start with the pattern pieces, and I'm going to, with my water-soluble blue marking pen, um, I've already folded this one time, so I'm going to make a mark at the center of the bottom of the sleeve and at the center of the top of the sleeve um, so that I can align them. Now, this particular pattern has a front and a back, so I'm going to take the pins out from one side and I'm going to write the word back on each piece. Okay, now I'll set that aside. I'll do some more work with it in just a little bit. But let me get my pattern piece for the cuff and my entredo beading. And I'm gonna cut two pieces of entredo beading that are the length for the long sleeve cuff. Get that measured nicely. Okay, now I need to cut two pieces, so let me cut another piece. Make sure it's the same length as the first piece. Okay. All right, now I, I'm also going to need two pieces of lace that are one and a half times the length of the cuff piece. So let me um, measure out the cuff piece one time. That's one. And I fold it in half, that gives me two halves. And if I fold it again, that gives me three halves. And three halves is the same thing as one and a half. So I will cut that and cut a second piece and then set the rest of my lace off to the side because I'll be using that um, on the bonnet later on. But I think I won't be doing any more lace um, on the day gown. I don't think I am. Okay. All right, now before I can gather this lace and zigzag it to one side of the entredo beading, I need to trim the excess batiste away from one side of the entredo beading. And I need to do this on both pieces of entredo beading. Um, and then I will need to use a silk pen and gather up my two pieces of lace until they are the same length, excuse me, um, as the entredo beading. But this will take me a minute, so I'll be right back. Okay, I have my two pieces of lace gathered. So one at a time, I'm gonna come over here to the sewing machine. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to zigzag the gathered lace to the edge of the entredo beading, just holding it together. And once again, there's no need for speed here. Um, Make sure I'm going in an entredo hole in the case. Okay, so I'm not stabbing the ladder. Okay, so okay, now this little bitty lace, it does like to spiral up on itself, so you have to be careful that you're putting it on nice and neatly while you're holding it close to itself. And you also have to be careful that the gathers don't pleat up and create a tuck on itself. Okay, 
Okay, so this will take me a minute to get this um, all zigzagged, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the gathered lace um, sewn or zigzagged to the entredeau. Now on each cuff, I'm gonna fold it in half um, and make a little mark halfway um, along the entredeau. That'll help me to center it on the sleeve. It'll also help me if I've got that little blue dot on the entredeau. Um, when I run the ribbon through it um, later on, I'll know where the center of the entredeau band is. Okay, so I'm going to set these two cuff pieces aside for just a minute because I need to do a little more prep work um, on my pattern piece uh, by sewing in some gathering threads. So let me unpin my pattern piece. Oh, I need to go iron this. It's not really, really, it's got a crease here in the middle and I don't want there to be a crease, so I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got my machine set for a basting stitch length and I'm going to baste some gathering threads um, one half in, or pardon me, not one quarter inch um, away from the bottom of the sleeve and the second gathering thread will be one quarter inch away from that. Let's see if I can. And I'll need to do this for both sleeves, both the top and the bottom, because they'll be gathered in both places. Okay, so that's one gathering thread. Let me do a second one. And then I'll do the two gathering threads up along the top of the sleeve. And then I'll do the other sleeve too. But this will take me a minute, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the basting threads sewn top and bottom on both pieces. So I'm going to set one sleeve aside. Um, and I'm going to start... Um, in the center of the bottom of the sleeve, I'm going to match up my two little blue marks. And using a silk pin, I will pin that into place. Drop my pin. And line that up again. Okay, and then I will pull my gathering threads until the sleeve is the same length as the cuff, and we can get that pinned into place. And line up this other edge. Pinned into place and then ease the gathers in along the cuff. There we go. Okay, now since I've already got this gathered, I'm going to grab my basting threads that are hanging out here so they don't get in my way and I'm just gonna trim them. Now, I need to repeat this process on the other side um, for the other side of the cuff, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that cuff pinned to the bottom of the sleeve. So now using a straight stitch, I'm going to sew the entredeau to the sleeve take my pins out as I come to them.
sides. Okay, now on this raw edge of the entrenou, I'm going to go back with a zigzag stitch and finish that off before I press the entrenou seam to the inside in order to come back and zigzag. Okay, so I have it set for a zigzag and I'm just going to zigzag and finish off this little raw edge. And then I may have some little raggedy threads that I would trim out because I don't want the raggedy threads to poke out from the sleeve when the garment is finished. So let me trim a couple of these little raggedy threads. There we go. Nope, oh, missed one. Okay, so since this is Swiss Batiste and it's not really, really, really thick, I'm going to just finger fold this entredeau seam to the inside. Because I really don't want to press um, The gathers is what I was going to say. Okay, so let me set my machine to a zigzag, the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing um, entredeau. And then I'm going to zigzag along this edge to hold the entredeau seam to the inside of the garment. Now the last thing I have to do is I my lower gathering thread is actually showing. So I'm going to use my seam ripper and pull out the lower gathering thread. Pull out the gathering thread and then reach in and grab the bobbin thread and pull it out also. Okay. All right, that finishes that off nicely. Okay, so I need to repeat this process for the other sleeve and then we'll be finished. Okay, we've got the cuff on both sleeves and the final step I need to do in order to get these sleeves ready to set into the garment is I need to sew French seams um, along the edge of the sleeve. Let me get my gathering threads out of the way. And let me pin this. Line up my entredeau beading. And I'm gonna create a little French seam. So I'll sew about one eighth of an inch away from the edge first, and then about three sixteenths of an inch away. So that'll give me a, I think my seam allowance was three eighths of an inch. And that will be fine. Okay, so let me set my machine back to a straight stitch. and do a very small first pass with a straight stitch, about one eighth of an inch. Take my pins out as I come to them.
trim that seam down a little bit where the lace is. And then I'll turn it and finger fold this. Since it's so little, I don't want to do it on the ironing board. And I'll come back and do the second pass of the French seam. Okay, so about three sixteenths of an inch this time. And then these sleeves will be ready to set into the garment. Okay, so let me do this other little sleeve and then we'll be ready to start working on setting this into the sleeve. Now I'm going to, where it says word back, I'm going to finger fold this seam towards the back of the sleeve so that when I set it in, the seam is towards the back of the garment. It's nice thing about Swiss Batiste, you can just finger fold. Okay, so I need to do the front seam um, into the other sleeve. Okay, so I have both French seams sewn along the underside of the sleeve. Um, and these sleeves are ready to be set in to the garment, but um, I haven't done the French seams on the garment yet, so that's what we'll be doing next. But in this video, we were creating the gathered lace and entredeau beading cuffs, um, sewing the gathering threads, both at the bottom and the top of the sleeve, um, and sewing the inseam, French seam on each one of the sleeves. But thank you.